Hey guys, this is Michael Gatewood. I'm in Photoshop CS6 and we're going to do an extraction around this flyaway hair, knock out this background, which is dark and there's good contrast, so it should be relatively easy, but there's a lot of wispy hair. and We're going to drop her into a new background. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started by simply going to the layer and let's throw the lock in the garbage can. That unlocks that layer, makes it a transparent layer so that we can create transparency behind the model. Now let's go in here and let's take a look at channels. What we're looking for is contrast between the subject and the background. We're going to look through three different channels, red, green, and blue. And I see the most contrast in the red channel so I'm going to drag that and make a copy of it. Now we have what's called a red copy or a channel that we're going to make a mask out of. We're going to make her solid white and the background solid black. The first thing we probably need to do is go in here and just get more contrast going. So image adjustment levels can help us to do that. I'm going to go in here and darken the blacks and blow out the whites without getting too crazy. I don't want to create a glow, just good contrast. Now we have more contrast in the model. Let's go in here and let's do a selection around the inside of this model. Now I see around the edge the hair's probably almost transparent. She's got rather thin wispy hair. But we'll bring this around, get around close around this earring to make less work down the road. All the way over here. And we're going to fill this solid white. Solid white. And let's get there to back to the beginning. And let's fill this. Edit, fill, background color. And we'll fill with solid white. Now, Let's go into deselect. I'm not using hotkeys or modifier keys, so I'm trying to teach you guys where they are in the drop downs. But modifier keys or hotkeys are going to be important as we go down the road. Now, what we want to do is a little dodge and burn technique. So we're going to go to the burn tool and we're going to go with the shadows and exposure 100%. You can see that up here within the tool options in case you need to see right over here. And we're going to darken this background. And we'll come over here and we'll kind of darken this background. We've got to be careful to not to lose all that hair we're trying to protect. So now let's go back in here into the Dodge tool. And let's really take care of some of these edges within the model. This area has a little bit of a shadow around her shoulder. Let's see if we can protect that. There we go. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job. In here, it's a little wispy, but we'll see if we can get what we need. And now, let's see what we can do on this hair. Whoops. Watch out for those guides. Real easy to pull a guide out of your rulers. Let's get back in here into the Dodge tool and whisk away. Now I see we're creating good contrast in here. We got this earring. I'm trying to bring back some of those wispy hairs without losing all that detail or blowing it out. There we go. Now we'll come back in here. We see we got a little bit of this going on. We see those wispy hairs in there. That looks pretty good. And this is the magic of the dodge and burn tool on being able to just create this contrast, this contrast we're looking for. Now we need to kind of go back and forth. We got to be careful. We're going to kind of bring it in a little bit. There we go. Looking for that black. White reveals, black conceals in the mask and that's what we're trying to strive. Strive for. There we go. Now we can take a little bit of a paintbrush and if we need to make quick work of a few areas that are too solid that might be hard to get rid of. 
and that's within the head itself. Let's go back to RGB. Let's add the mask, and you can see the red mask that's around the model. But we're not through. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mask, hold down the command key, and click on the thumbnail. That's really what we're looking for, this great selection. Now let's go back, and let's go back to the layer, and let's hit a mask. Great. Now, we've got a mask, but it feels a little chunky, a little chunky around the edges. That It's got these black glows, and it just doesn't look wispy enough. But we do have, we do have a selection, so what I'm going to do so I'm going to go in here and hold down the command key and click again right on the mask and we'll go back here to the image. What I'm looking at doing is going to the selection tool and go to Refine Edge. Refine Edge has this smart radius that when taking a look at the edges becomes much wispier. If we have a little decontamination, we can spread it over areas that we might feel have a little bit of contamination. Colors that don't seem to work properly. There we go. Now, let's go in here and click OK. And we've got our mask. We've got this wispy hair going. Now, I'm looking at a couple things, and I see the combination of the two. This is kind of interesting. The very first one has a good edge around the shoulders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this mask, and I'm going to fill with black so that we get rid of it. White reveals black and seals, and then I'm only going to reveal it whoops over the edge whoops that looks good I am gonna go with a softer brush something a little more forgiving for myself and kinda of bring that in there just a little bit give myself a little better selection a little tighter a little crisper right around the shoulders but the rest looks pretty good nice okay now let's double check see if we've got transparency in anything that we don't want now the diamonds look good hair looks good wispy not bad now I do see something in here white reveals black conceals let's add to this mask up here Let's make sure we're in the mask and that we don't have transparency in the middle of her head. That may not work well for us or anything that we might have pulled away. Maybe any diamonds that we might have lost or any skin. All right. That looks pretty good. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go in here and grab another graphic or a background image. So let's go in here and let's try this. Let's go File and Open Recent. I've got some backgrounds that we've dropped in. This is an evening background. So what I'm going to do is click and drag and drop this right over our model and kind of put it in place. There we go. And then take the background and pull it back behind our model. And yeah, we've got some great wispy hair, but I'm going to try a trick. If I hold down the Commander Control key, click and get right on the mask, get my selection back, I can add a new layer. This layer, right up here at the top, is going to be sampled with a light blue from the sky. And then I'm going to fill. Edit, fill, we can do the foreground color and click OK. Now I know that looks hideous. Control D is deselect. But what we're looking at is a blend mode. And I'm thinking a blend mode like soft light. And bringing down the opacity ever so slightly. We're just putting a slight bluish tint 
on the model to kind of match the background. Half the battle is extracting out the old background. The other half is making sure that it fits into the new design that you've created. I'll move this stuff out of the way. In fact, we'll move that right over here and dock that. Let's give this a quick look and I'm just hitting the F key to give you a kind of a preview without the distraction of the tools of how cool this design looks. This is a great way to put products and people into a new environment. My name is Michael Gatewood. This is Photoshop. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like us.